This is a breaking news alert. That breaking news coming in from Arlington this noon, where police are investigating a suspicious death. Officers were called to the 1100 block of South 18th Street this morning. We know a woman's body found inside her home. All of this while her two children play outside. Brianne Carter, live at the scene where there's still a heavy police presence this noon. Brianne? Jimmy, indeed, there is. Take a look here behind me. You can see police still here on the scene. And take a look here at this home. This is the yard you were just speaking about. That is where Arlington County Police tell us that there were two children early this morning. And a neighbor noticed them out there this morning alone, a three-year-old and a five-year-old. They said their mother was inside. That is when police were called here to the scene. Arlington County Police telling us a 42-year-old woman was found dead inside of the home. Now, at this time, they are not releasing any information on the manner of death, but calling this a suspicious death. Now, we do understand that those two children, that three-year-old little boy and five-year-old little girl, are now said to be with Child Protective Services. Now, police are telling us at this hour they have been called to this address before for a domestic-related dispute. Police also telling us that they have spoken to the children's father, but they tell us that no one has been detained, no one is in custody at this point, that this is still a very active investigation. And you can see here from the live pictures. If you come back here live, you can see police still here on the scene. We understand some police officers just able to make their way inside of the home. Now, there are several street closures in place here in South Arlington as a result of this as well, and police are expected to be here throughout the day. But again, at this hour, police calling this a suspicious death, a very active investigation still ongoing. Reporting live in Arlington, Brianne Carter, ABC 7 News.